Oh my. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. A Kobe Bryant patch autograph Woo! number four of ten. How is it going everybody and welcome back to my channel, Kobe Cards. Oh man everyone, last week was an exciting week, but also an exhausting one too. I released four videos in a one week span, which included my 1000 subscriber giveaway, which was amazing. Honestly, I'm very happy for our winners, but every day that goes by, I'm starting to think more and more like I'm mentally insane because that box of cards, which I said was $400, is now already worth $600 or more. What was I thinking? I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the giveaway because even I'm still in shock at what I decided to give away. I will say though that making every video last week a giveaway video was a little time consuming for sure. So future giveaways will probably be a little bit easier, but I really do appreciate all of the people who took the time to watch the videos, comment, like, subscribe, and bring that positive energy into the videos last week. As an update, Ethan, our winner of the grand prize, did email me multiple times actually, literally beside himself that he won. Like, honestly, he didn't even know what to do because he couldn't imagine a prize that large and was just super appreciative, which was awesome to see. He did decide, I will say, to take the box as sealed, which I totally understand. So I'm shipping that box out to him factory sealed. And I also heard back from four of the five other winners of the Kobe tribute cards. So I'll be sending a few little small extras their way as well. Nothing crazy, but maybe a few things that they would enjoy, but those are being shipped out to this weekend. Now onto today's video. Today's video is going to be a fun one because it is both a Kobe news video and a mail day video. Why is it a Kobe news day, you say? Well, because Kobe Bryant, via Granity Studios, released a new book. Why is it a mail day? Because I have my copy right here. And you see, I actually have a second copy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm debating whether I have one that I read and one that I keep in sort of good unread condition, or I might be giving one away in the future. So let me know what you think. Would a good giveaway for this channel possibly be giving away a copy of Kobe's newest book? Let me know what you think. Would you rather have it be cards or would you rather it be just anything Kobe related? So let me know in the comments for that part. So as far as this new book is concerned, you can see that the book is called Geese Are Never Swans. It was created by Kobe Bryant and written by Eva Clark. The book was released on July 21st, so about two weeks ago now. And I actually found out about this book on Kobe's own Instagram. It was the first post that had been on his account in nearly four full months. But Kobe's team obviously found this book fitting of being a way to continue his legacy in a positive way and thus determined that it would be, again, a positive way to share this book with the public using his Instagram. I will say that the comments on the post itself are disabled, which makes sense, honestly. There's a lot of crazies out there, and I prefer Kobe's page to be more informational as opposed to interactive at this point, since technically there is no one to be interacting with. So I'm okay with comments being disabled. But the post does have over half a million likes already. So clearly still there are people out there showing support and who are following Kobe even through today. As far as where this book fits within his portfolio, this is the fifth book in the Granity Studios line, which was created by Kobe. His others were the Wizenard series season one, the Wizenard series training camp, Legacy and the Queen, and Apaka the Tree of Ekroth. You may have some common questions now, such as one, was this book planned for and written before or after Kobe's passing? Two, will I be able to get my hands on this book or any of the books, or will it just be like sports cards and bots bought them up and companies bought them up and people like me on the day it released bought it up and there's gonna be people out there trying to sell at 100X value and ruin it for everyone, will that happen? And then three, how should I feel about this or other books being released after Kobe's passing 
but in his name or using his name or just saying created by Kobe Bryant. And I'll definitely get into that. But first, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about this book in particular. Geese are never swans. So the one thing that differentiates this book specifically is that this one is for young adults and falls into that market. So this isn't a youth book. It is a young adult book. And the background of this book is as follows. So the book centers around a character named Gus, who has his dreams to be an Olympic swimmer. His brother, Danny, also loved swimming and had the same dreams. However, after failing to reach his dreams, Danny takes his life and thus leaves Gus just absolutely devastated. And therefore, we have Gus, who's battling all of these mental health issues, and he just lost his brother. He's mad at everyone from... Danny's coach, who is still his coach, he's mad at his own mother, he's mad at his brother for taking his own life, he's really just mad at everything around him for being the way it is. He's just mad at the world at this point. So the question is, how can Gus find solace and comfort in the same place that he has to face his demons, which is in the water? And how does he deal with that rage, where with every stroke it just feels like it's punishing him? Can Gus fight through the punishing nature while also finding ways to heal all through sports. I think the concept is a beautiful one, and it's definitely a hard-hitting one. Granity Studios never shies away from the real issues, and I have a feeling that this book will certainly be a powerful and inspirational read, if not very emotional as well. As part of Vanessa Bryant's Instagram post when this book released, she also said this, this book also helped me deal with grief. I'm glad we still have his books to help us along the way. Needless to say, losing a loved one in a book written by a loved one who was lost is very relevant. So Vanessa's words are surely authentic. Now, onto those questions that you may be thinking. One, was this book planned for and written before or after Kobe's passing? The answer to that is before. Kobe knew and had a hand in the creation of this book. This doesn't just say created by Kobe Bryant without any input from Kobe. Kobe back in 2019 was talking about his plan to have five books by this point and going in 2020. Now, this is the first of five books, correct? By 2020. Series, yeah, it's five books, yeah. Five books by 2020. Yeah, then we go someplace else with the series, but there, there, there's, yeah, this one's five. On top of this, there is another book, a sixth book, which is already slated for release later this year for December, which I also do believe Kobe was directly involved in. That being said, yes, it's fair to say Kobe was truly a creator for this world too. The second question was, will I be able to get my hands on Kobe's books or are they just being completely wiped out of stock? and people are just purchasing everything similar to the basketball card market just to profit. The answer is, shockingly, not anymore. So interesting story on this one, when Kobe passed away, all of his previous books and anything he had written was immediately wiped out, as you would expect. Every copy of everything was purchased. It was impossible on Amazon or anywhere else to get a copy of any of the books, and they weren't available from the publishers anymore. If you wanted a copy, it would be marked up ridiculously. Literally everyone's worst nightmare in the cards world was now in book form too. However, silly companies and silly bots, what you don't know is that with books, there is no limited edition print run to it. You can just keep on printing copies of the book as much as you want to meet the demand. So Granity Studios, by the time their next book came out, was just like, we're going to continue to produce and produce and produce and produce more and more and more copies of all of these books, including previously published ones, to meet whatever demand there is out there. Like I said, these aren't limited edition books. They're just books. And with the mission of the company being to inspire as many people in the world as physically possible, they wanted to make it so that all of their books can be purchased and be read and inspire people through any of the different outlets that they want, whether buying through Amazon, bookstores, literally anything, and they wanted to give it to you at face value. And what that meant is that there was no amount of bots 
that could do anything to stop Granity Studios from getting copies of their books into people's hands who wanted a copy. Basically, if a bot bought 10,000 copies of a book, all at $20 each, thinking they could sell them for $50, Granity Studios would just go and produce 20,000 copies and sell all of those still at $20, making it impossible for bots or companies to profit. Because it'd be illogical for consumers to buy it for any more than the $20 face value that the publishers and Amazon and bookstores would still give it to you. And that is just fantastic news for all of us, because if you want a copy of one of Kobe's books, you can get them. On to the third and final question, which is how would I feel about future Kobe books, maybe ones that are released in 2021, being inspired by Kobe and saying maybe created by Kobe, even if he didn't have a direct hand in it? My answer would be, he did have a hand in it. He founded Granity Studios to inspire the world and to write content that would be meaningful and drive impact and value for the world. He handpicked all of these authors to be part of the studio and to write these amazing novels using his ideas and visions of these worlds. Even without Kobe telling some of these authors exactly what to do, anything that comes out of Granity Studios would still be made with the intentions of inspiring the youth and young adults of the world. And that's a cause and a mission that I hope does live on forever. In Kobe's name, I absolutely want him to continue to be remembered and honored by the studio and the studio not to stop just because Kobe is gone, but rather continue to fight every single day so his vision can live on forever. And what he imagined in his dreams for this media company when he founded it, that it comes true in his honor and that it leaves his lasting legacy. So I love it. And for as long as Granity Studios is going, I will personally support it. Let me know if you think otherwise or agree or disagree in the comments. I'd love to get your thoughts on this, but I don't see this as a corporation taking advantage of Kobe's name. I see this as a company that Kobe built himself from the ground up, continuing the legacy that he would have wanted. Not anyone else, but as he would have wished. And for that reason, I'm really proud to own my copy of this book. And I feel empowered and inspired just by holding it in my hands, honestly. And I do hope to get my hands on the rest of the books that he's released and the ones that I don't own yet. And hopefully there are more to come in the future as well. So for today, this book and there's not a card, but this book will be uploaded to my Instagram and Twitter, which is at Kobe Capsule, where you can find all of the content that we have talked about on this channel. And if you are enjoying my videos and my tribute to Kobe, I hope you consider subscribing so you can follow along as we continue our journey to remember and celebrate the life and career of Kobe Bryant. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time with more Kobe cards.